<clears throat> Hello, all. I am just here to um, <clears throat> go over a formula in front of you. And in fact, when I say go over a formula, um, I haven't even created it. I'm gonna create one live with you. So um, here I go. And what I'm gonna do is just go number 603, number 603. Obviously I give every single one a number I am on my last page of this journal. Seriously, I'm on my very last page of this journal. It'll probably hold one or two um, of the war people. Yay, so glad you're here. Whoever is here, hello, glad to have you here. We are going to make a formula. All I did was pick two things and you can help me pick more. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so what I have is alpha ionol, which is like, like um, um, an iris. And then I have um, vetiver. The reason I picked a vetiver is because one, it's a base. And number two, it has a little bit of um, the alpha ion ionol has a little bit of vetiver in it. Hi, Monica, so glad you're here. What? Yay, Monica. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'll probably repeat myself a couple of times, but I'm here. We are just gonna create um, a formula. We can do this together. Um, <clears throat> you, whoever is watching, can um, Jasmine, voila! oh my God, hello. Um, we can create this together. So um, I have, again, vetiver essential oil, and I have alpha ionol. So um, <clears throat> let me move one thing. Um, there we go. What up, Alora? Alora's in the house. So um, if we'll just start with these two, again, vetiver and alpha ionol, if those don't work for you. <clears throat> Ina, hello. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, if those two don't work for you when you want to go in a different direction, we can make, um, we can go in a different direction. Um, maybe let me know if that works for you. Um, I think most people, if you're here and you're watching this and you love this stuff and you don't have vetiver, you need to get vetiver. It's pretty, uh, I just would say it's pretty important. It's a great base. Um, <clears throat> and the thing that I am definitely going to do is before I just go like this and shake it and tip it, I'm going to make sure the cap is on. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> but the other one that's really, <coughs> I'm still sick. I'm going to be coughing, but well, whatever. Um, <clears throat> um, Robin Rose Marie says, hi, Dave, will it smell a bit like lemons and sweet? The, um, alpha ionol will give it a bit of sweetness. And lemon, actually, yeah, you can pick up a little lemon in this. Although, if you think in your head, um, the, um, why am I not thinking about, violets, <clears throat> um, you'll smell the violet as well. But you will um, definitely smell lemon in this as well. And what is crazy, um, you can practice this. Um, Seb, what's up? Welcome. So glad you're here. Oh my gosh. So <clears throat> if you guys want to um, add to these, tell me what you might put in it. Um, 
<clears throat> in fact, I can grab the lemon and we can make the lemon shine a little bit more, make it come to the forefront a little bit more. Um, so again, I have vetiver essential oil. If you don't have it, you can, it's just a, it's a staple. I'm just going to put it in that category. It's a staple. It's like your bread, butter, milk. You, you need your vetiver. It's amazing. It's really good. Um, kind of like patchouli. If you do this stuff, you need patchouli. Um, vetiver is in that category. Um, so I just picked up the lemon essential oil. And again, oops, I almost did a, a lower there. Um, your alpha ionol. Now, if you don't have alpha ionol, you're like, what can I use? Um, many things. I'm going to have to go over here. I'll be speaking but I'm going to tell you a couple of other things because I have um, more stuff over there and all my um, ionols, all my iris stuff is over there. So um, let me grab a few for you to know um, what you can use instead of this because there are options for sure. And oh my God, I just grabbed all of them. So <clears throat> let me give you some options that you can use. Ionone Beta Pure. That is going to be a little bit more warm, warm and drier for sure. A little bit less lemon, um, warmer and drier. Ionol Beta Pure, but you can use that as a substitute instead of the um, Alpha Ionol. Um, ionone, um, extra BHT. This is definitely a violet berry. So your berry is going to come out a little bit more in this one. Okay. Um, <clears throat> hello, Alora. Uh, alpha ionone white career. <laughs> she already wrote that down. Um, this is a fixative. Um, it's a warm floral it's a great, sub, great substitute. Whoo, pretty similar. Another really super, super similar, probably the closest in my opinion, is going to be the um, Irisone, Irisone Alpha 90. That is by Jividan. Yeah, you get the lemon in this. This is, to me, the closest match to this to the alpha ionol closest match um but the um, white courier alpha ionone white courier incredibly similar it just has a tiny bit of warmth to it um but all these are gonna be great fixatives that's for sure this one's very very similar as well super similar um and then this one i'm gonna have to check first before i even tell you <clears throat> kind of. Um, beta Ionone Natural. Beta Ionone Natural. It's kind of an expensive one. Um, and it has a little bit of freesia in it. Not quite. You could use it if you have it, if you don't have any of these others. Um, so I am going to use Alpha Ionol with these three. And then... These others, you can just, um, I'm going to get them out of the way. I don't have a lot of room. <clears throat> I'll put them up later. So, <clears throat> so, so far we have these three, and I am going to just write them down really quick, because otherwise um, I'm going to be stopping anyway. Vetiver. The lemon. My two dogs are playing, and this is live, so I have nothing I can do about it. Um, alpha. Ion, ion all. There we go. So we got these three so far. Um, so unless you guys give me some ideas of what you might want to put in here or an idea of what direction you might want me to go like more floral or more woodier or whatever freesia 
um, I can grab my freesia. So when I do freesia, there's two things that I do. And Seb, I think it was you who talked yesterday about freesia. I have to get so sorry. Give me a second. Drop it. No. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and grab that one I was talking about. Oh, it must be already still over here. <clears throat> it's still going to be over here. Yes, my freesia. So <laughs> the freesia fluorith. Seb, here we go. Th these two play well together. The um, beta ionone natural and that freesia really go well together. They kind of help each other. And I like to use them together. So Seb, are you saying that you want to add this in here or no? I'm just going to wait for your response. I hope you're still at the computer. <clears throat> yes, I, um, Ina says yes. Okay, so we're going to add both of these to this. And don't, look, don't worry if you don't have one of these, like if you don't have the beta ino natural, that's okay. Um, just don't worry about it. Yes, I grabbed the Freesia Florith. Yes, so we are adding that to our formula. And so I need to just write this down re really quick. Beta, ionone, natural, and parisia, fluor, rith, fluorith. Okay, so this is kind of what I do is <clears throat> I kind of, um, <clears throat> I just write stuff down. There's been times that I've written everything out and I've gone through and thought about what all I have. And I have been like, mm -mm, don't want that one in here. And I will mark it out and just not even use it. Even though I've pulled it and put it on the paper, I've changed my mind and not used it. And I'm, I put a line through it because I could come back and go, oh my God, I forgot to write how many drops and think that I put it in there, but I didn't because I didn't write anything over here. So I write a line through it, letting me know I changed my mind and did not use it. That to me is one of those things I've never said, but it's important. Um, <clears throat> the other thing that you can do is you can go ahead and start with what you have, close the lid, and test it and see where you want to go, where else that you want to go. Um, so what we have is a little bit of vetiver um, rootiness, and we have a little bit of lemon that's going to kind of blend well with the alpha ionol the alpha and ionol has a little bit of vetiver in it. So we've connected those three right there, which is awesome. And then we've got a little bit of <clears throat> the beta ionone. Um, beta ionone goes well with violet. So anytime you're using violet, this is a good choice as well. So a good blender mix it and then we get the freesia as well. This is going to have a little bit of the, it's going to pull a little bit of the green. Yeah, there's a little bit of green, <clears throat> but I'm going to add one more. To me, it's, it's not crazy to me, but it is the herbal moss accord from creating perfume. That one, I'm just here to tell you, doesn't smell like moss. It just doesn't. I did a whole video on it and I have to say what I think and what I get. And I get green stem fresh in the florist. 
They are cutting the ends of the stems of flowers. That is what this smells like. It, it, it just, it, you even get a little bit of the, a tiny bit of, I get a tiny bit of floral in there. I, I don't know. I just do. <clears throat> so I want to add just a, a little bit of that. <clears throat> and I think I want to add a wood. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Ooh. Ugh, I love this one. I'll pull two because I love that. And, um, This is Cedarwood Atlas. Oh, I love Cedarwood Atlas. Um, okay, Timber Silk. I am for show sure using Timber Silk. I love Timber Silk. And it will, to me, it will be a blender and make this and bring this together and bring some um, cohesiveness. You will not believe this, Alora. I do not have light patchouli. I don't own it. I don't have it. Mm, so frustrating. I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Uh, it is. It's frustrating when I don't have stuff. Uh, but I don't have light patchouli. Um, I have um, the clear wood. Clear wood I do have. Let me grab it really quick. Here we go. Clear wood. Clear wood. Clear wood. Yes. I'm going to do both of them. Clear wood and the timber silk. <clears throat> now, one other funny thing. I think we, we talked about this today. <laughs> I know, Alora. It just, how do I not have light patchouli? But I don't. There's a lot of things I really don't have because of those 500 things that I have, a lot of those are my essential oils that I've had for a good long time. And um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, there's some, um, and then my accords that I made. I'm counting those. Speaking of my accords that I made, I, want to add um for you guys this might be crazy but to me it fits with iris and it is my sweet raspberry accord um i have a raspberry accord but i wanted to choose the sweet raspberry accord because i'm not going to use a lot of it and it's not like super can it's not candy sweet it's not like that but it is a sweeter raspberry um you yes grab your raspberry ketone because that is in here um so if you have raspberry ketone um another one that is a raspberry is um <clears throat> I'm gonna say it wrong. It's from IFF. Dulcilin, D U L C I N Y L. Um, that's like a raspberry red fruit kind of aroma, and um, yeah. So you could use that as well if you don't have. Um, the raspberry ketone, but you have the other, you can use the other. So <clears throat> I'm going to put a drop of that in here and I should make sure I write it down. Sweet raspberry accord. And it is number, it's one I don't have a number on. I need to find that number and write it on here in my book. Um, <clears throat> and Alora is just up. She's pulling her ingredients. Um, I'm reading that because that's what she's doing. I'm not with her, but um, that's what she's doing. 
So <clears throat> I am going to, I think I'm gonna make a little path that you can maybe kind of see when I do my drops. Move these. <clears throat> Yeah, this is better. Okay, there we go. So um, here we go. Vetiver is our um, base, but we have two others. And I'm gonna just keep them in order because the way I wrote them, I'm just gonna keep them in order. With the vetiver, I'm going to do, it's very thick, which I love. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. It's, let me write it down first. Five drops of the vetiver. <clears throat> There's such a sweetness. It's like a woody, sweet, rooty. It's like sweet roots. But I get a little bit of wood as well. So I have to say the word wood. But the roots are made out of or wood. So, um. Um, let's go to our next one, which is lemon. Lemon. What type of fragrance am I going for? Well, that's a good question because um, liver of the land, yes, it detoxifies the land for sure. Um, <clears throat> Babe Shalti. Glad to see you here. Um, I, you know, I kind of determine it by, because I could either go like a deep Rudy. I'm sorry. I need to get my dogs. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. So I kind of I kind of determine it when I'm doing this because I have an idea of what I what I kind of want. Um, um, but it it depends on how many drops I'm putting down and I don't decide that <laughs> and, until I have them all here and I kind of have an idea. And I think right now, if you were going to ask me, I'm going more towards these are going to be a little bit more prominent. I am holding vetiver, um, cedarwood, I mean, <clears throat> clearwood, and the timber silk. And the rest of them are going to be in the background and supporting. And <clears throat> that is... Um, Um, that is kind of, I think, what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. And um, Babe Shotty says that they're watching on TV. <laughs> That's really cool. So you can see. Awesome. <clears throat> so anyway, we did um, five of the vetiver. And now we're about to do the lemon essential oil. Ugh, so fresh. One, two, three, four, five. So I decided to do five of those as well. And remember, at the end of this, I can change my mind and be like, oh, I want one more. Now, I'm, I want to put a low end of drops because obviously I can't take any drops out. So when I go through the first time, I typically put a low end, a lower number, um, because I may want to change my mind. So the alpha um, ionol um, is 88 hours. It is a middle note. It's, it just, it has almost the same <coughs> sweetness as the vetiver. It's just crazy. It's really cool. So, and it's pretty strong. 
One, two, three, three, three. I'm gonna do three or three. This is three in sign language, three drops. Um, the beta ionone natural. <clears throat> the lemon is five essential five is five essential oils of lemon, five drops of lemon essential oil. <laughs> okay, so the um, beta ionone natural. Mm. It's not very strong. One, two, three, four, five. I love this one. Ugh. To me, it's a, let me write it down. Hold on. Five of the beta ionone natural. To me, it is a blender and it, it makes your formula cohesive, in my opinion. Just when I've worked with it, that's what it has seemed to do. Um, the next one is the Freesia Florif. Um, 40 hours on the test strip. Ugh, very floral, be beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. See, I probably could have gone lower, but I wanted six. So I decided to do six. Um, I have clear wood as next. So the clear wood, oh, geez, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven of the clear wood. Um, so seven of the clear wood. So <clears throat> like patchouli, clear wood is going to be a, um, a cohesive maker. It brings your fragrance together. That's why it's so funny when you add patchouli to a fragrance, you don't smell patchouli like you smell from the bottle. It just completely changes and integrates into your formula well and makes it cohesive. Again, that's my opinion of what clear wood and patchouli do. Someone move this forward because timber silk is our next one. Timber silk, my opinion, but I'm telling you, timber silk from IFF, <coughs> one of my favorites. It is so beautiful. Um, to me, some people may not agree, but to me, it is a little bit like um, Isoe Super. It just is, in my opinion. It's just a little similar. <clears throat> it, it All I know is it rounds out sharp notes. Um, oh, it is my favorite. I love it. And you can... And it's not a, um, you know, like timber wood. It's not one of those that is masculine or feminine. It it can go in, e in either direction. It doesn't matter what you use it with. Um, smooth and warm and not too warm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I showed you it up at ten drops. Ten drops. <clears throat> love timbers watch it'll make magic with this one just watch it'll make magic with this formula i'm here to tell you that's what it'll do herbal moss accord i did not write that one down let me write it down really quick G -R -L moss accord again this is to me not an herbal moss it's not herbal to me and it's not mossy to me it is green it is it is exactly the green stem in a, in a floral shop, the stems of flowers. That is what is always been to me. It's exactly what it smells like to me. I would mark out the name and I would just put floral stems 
on the name. That's what I would call it. Floral Stem Accord. Because that's what it smells like. It's beautiful. So I would just want a little bit of green to be in the, in the very, very background of this. So I'm just going to do two drops. One, two. To, let me write it down really quick, and I'm going to say one other thing about this. To me, this is a staple. If you are doing this stuff, if you're watching, like, good grief. You, this one is a staple, but please know, because this is exactly the reason I am doing this video, is because what I would have wanted to learn in the beginning is I probably would not have bought this because herbal moss Oh, it's going to smell like herbal moss. And it doesn't. It smells like green stems in a floral shop. It's absolutely clean and beautiful. It's green and sharp, a little bit sharp. But that's, to me, really what it smells like. So the name is deceptive. And right there, everything I just said is what I would have wanted to know and learn and hear about. So... It is a staple and you will use it. I use it in one way and one way only. And that's how I'm using now and how I've described it. That's what I do. <clears throat> the next one is my sweet raspberry accord. Um, it smells like fresh smashed raspberries with white powder with white powdered sugar on top that's been sitting there for 10 minutes. So it's not cold. It's almost, almost room temperature and you can smell that sweetness and the juice is being pulled out by the sugar on top, but not a lot of sugar, <clears throat> but some sugar, but you've squished the raspberries and they are fresh in season. It's exactly what this smells like, and it will go beautifully with our um, freesia. Ooh, freesia and raspberry are beautiful together. <clears throat> so I'm going to do one, two, three. <clears throat> and three of those actually will be just enough to be in the background um, because this vetiver is going to swallow it and the timber silk at 10 drops is going to swallow it and so will the cedar wood. It'll just push it to the background and be blended in all throughout, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So <clears throat> I'm going to close the top. Well, let me show you how much I have in here right now. So it's up to here. This is just a two mil vial. <clears throat> Corey, hello. Happy Friday. Um, so our vial is just up to here. So we have plenty of room. Um, and you can see that it has not been mixed yet. I love showing that. I take photos of that kind of stuff. I just, I do. I love it. And then so we're going to shake it up and see where we are. Hello. <clears throat> Told you, <laughs> my child. I love it. Great idea. So Alora used her um, Litsia um, Cubeba instead of the lemon. That's really her favorite. She loves that one. And she used that instead. And I'll tell you what it did to hers is it made it more complex. And she used um, the raspberry ketone. The raspberry ketone is in here. So I used raspberry ketone as well. And her, the, um, Deuce a little a little I don't cannot pronounce it, but um she wrote it in there. What's the other one? This is in my um 
raspberry, sweet raspberry accord as well. So I have both of those in there. She's laughing at me. I love it. So I, I love this to me. This is very different. This is like nothing that is on the market. You can't get anything like that. I've never smelled anything like this on the market. I love oh, the violet. Oh my gosh. So I am just going to do something a little cray cray and I'm going to put, um, <clears throat> and more male fragrance. Yes, we're creating a, um, a formula. And I just started with two things and now we just um, have created our own thing. So one thing that you could do, cause this is where I go crazy and I'm like, oh my God, there's some other things that you can do to add it. If you want it to go a little bit more feminine, cause I put a little heavy on these three bases. But if you wanted to add, <clears throat> hold on, let me smell it for a say. Oh, one drop, one drop of composition 37987. That truly is the name of it. it really, I put composition and I know because there's no other material named composition and the long number. So I just write composition. Um, it's a cinerome. It's lilac and plumeria. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, as soon as I say it, I'm going to, no, I'm going to remember. So plumeria, the other name for plumeria is, um, give me just one second. Ah, nobody get it before me. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Um, frangipani. So frangipani, plumeria, same thing. Um, Alora says she would add a little bit more of the herbal moss accord. Absolutely. Um, and that's where this stuff gets fun. And Robin Rosie Marie says chocolate. Oh my gosh. What? Yeah. There's depth to this and you could absolutely... So your Robin, when you say chocolate, that is one of those things that is out of the box that could absolutely make this crazy amazing. And that's the kind of stuff that you just step out of the box and you just take, take a risk and it could be amazing. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> And my other thought would be using the, uh, just one drop because this composition, 37987, is pretty strong. But just one drop of it in here would um, really bring out a bunch of the other florals that are already in here. That freesia, it'll bring that as well. The lilac will come out some more. Um, it would be amazing. So if you wanted to go in that direction, you could, like Alora said, the herbal moss, she could go adding a little, making this a little bit more green. In my opinion, that's green. Um, <clears throat> and then, but yeah, that chocolate, you could absolutely do that. Um, and then the question is, is there a reference about oils? How much grams when mixing two oils rather than testing and retesting all the time? Huh. Um, 